Hey everyone, my name is Casey. This time on Patina Pit Stop, we're gonna do part one of a new series where we turn an old jet ski trailer into a utility trailer that I'm gonna use for drag and drive events. Let's get going. So if you saw the last episode of Patina Pit Stop, I bought an old jet ski, I'll put the link up here, and bought the jet ski and tried to get it running, but really the whole reason why I bought the jet ski was for the trailer. So now we're going to jump into that, but let's go over a quick rundown of what happened with the previous episode, the jet ski. And I'm gonna break it down by dollars. I paid $100 for the jet ski. I messed around with the wiring a little bit and found that there was a bad connection going to the starter solenoid. Ooh. I was able to clean that up and fix that. Then I decided uh, that the battery just wasn't gonna make it. So that's when I replaced the battery. That was $80. I also put some oil in it. That was $40. And then after trying and trying and trying to start the jet ski, I basically burned up the starter. And when that happened, I decided to replace the starter. When I found out it was only 42 bucks, that's what I did. After replacing the starter, I still couldn't get it to start, so I bought a carburetor kit and cleaned up and rebuilt the carburetors. And at that point, the jet ski still would not start. So I ended up junking the jet ski for a total of $250, bringing me to $32 is what I have invested. This trailer basically cost me $32. Not too bad. Now let's do a quick rundown on what it's gonna to need to be up to snuff. We gotta get rid of those boards. Those are no good, we don't want those. And we're gonna get rid of this tower, which is just bolted on. And uh, that way we don't need that guy. Uh, everything else here, structurally, structurally the trailer's in pretty good shape. The trailer does not have lights or wiring, so we gotta do that. The tires have good tread, but they are dry, cracked, and rotted, and who knows how old they are, and I'm not gonna trust them. So I'm gonna replace the wheels and tires. We need to check the wheel bearings. Then we'll have to build some sort of a floor system for the, the base, and uh, I don't know. We'll go from there and see what else we need to do to make this thing a neat little utility trailer or a drag and drive trailer is what really I want to do with it. So let's get uh, let's get started. Let's get into it. First things first, let's get these guys off. Next, we're gonna pull this ugly thing off. It's look pretty decent, so I'm gonna go try to sell it. Let's dive into the lights next, and uh, let's see what we have here to begin with. All right, I bought this off of Amazon, I think it was like 20 bucks. And it comes with both lights. Oh, little side lights. A whole wiring kit. Oh, it's even got a license plate bracket. I don't need that in 
Tennessee where I live. Not that I know of. I don't think I need a, a trailer license plate. All right, got everything opened up here. There is light bulbs. I can see there's a light bulb in there. See it? And this one is even, uh, oh yeah, you can see it right there. This one is a trailer light, obviously, or a license plate light. So I think that's the left side. Got the instructions that I probably won't read. And wiring. And these guys, I'll show you how to what to do with these, these little scotch lock clip things. What you do with these, right there, right there in the trash can. I washed the trailer, I did my little scotch bright thing. I don't know if you can tell, it definitely looks better. I do need to get like this rust off though, because it's I'm gonna have to I'm gonna paint this thing. I'm just gonna rattle can it. So um but I just wanted to wash it just so it looked a little bit better. Um, first things first, we gotta fix this bracket here. It's all bent up. And this one's nice and straight. So I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can heat it up a little bit and then see if we can bend it in the right direction. jack handle all right what do the destructions say if I remember right yellow is left green is right I think they're all supposed to be the same like trucks trailers everything what does this say Oh, I need glasses. That's way too little. Yellow is left. Green is right. So when I looked under here, these wires were tucked up in here. So I think what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to attach my new wires that are way up there to this wire and then pull it through that way all my wires will be inside the trailer, which would be really nice. All right, what I did is I just tied these wires to this. Now I'm going to attempt to pull it through here. I'll get it started at least. Sorry about the casualty. Whoa. There's some stuff living in here. Oh. Well, we evicted some varnets too. Okay, that's probably why the wiring quit working. Let's get rid of that. All right, I'm gonna put the taillights on real quick, mainly because I don't have a lot of time here tonight. I'm gonna go do some stuff. So, but I wanna feel like I got something accomplished. See?
second burst. Same as the first. And yes, I'm gonna pull that sticker off. Cause that will bug me. All right, so tomorrow when I get going, I will wire that up and wire up my ground and then we'll back my car up to it, hook them up and make sure they work. And if they do, then we'll move on to checking the bearings. Shouldn't be too hard. Be right back. Slide my little protective heat shrink, whatever that is. And I'm also a big fan of the wire strippers like this. Mainly because I'm not patient enough to like use this. When your knuckle pops, you know you got it good. Or your old tub good to go. Same thing over here. Now, let's plug it into the car and see if it works. All right, back at it. Show you what I've gotten done. Did a little cleaning up on my wiring here. Uh, I got the heat shrink on uh, on my connections there, and I put some wire loom over it. And then I just put some self tappers with uh, some clips. I think that looks good. It's underneath on the back side, so once there's floor on this you won't be able to see anything from the rear let's pull the wheels off real quick and uh, I'm gonna make something for the back side so you can't see in there and uh, we're gonna check the wheel bearings Since these are in good shape, I am going to grease them. Let's clean them up first though. Alright, the next little project I have has to do with this not having an inner fender. And this will help, in my mind, if I put something in here it'll keep road debris and stuff from getting on my tools and whatever I have on the back of the street. Run my marker here on the inside. This will be my template, let's cut this out. See what that looks like. Something like that. All right, so I'm gonna use this old stop sign and I get the most out of my metal if I go this way. All right, this is what we got 
Oh, and I probably need to show you something else here too, but tripping over the wire. It did take some massaging to get it in there. You're not gonna see the inside, and I know you're looking at that gap, but let me show you what my eventual plan is. So this is a one and a half by one and a half piece of angle. I was gonna go two by two, two inch by two inch, but I found this and it was way cheaper and it was really readily available and in stock. So when that is gonna go up against that, I will screw through here into here to pull that tight. On the top here, I will cut this even with the top of the fender and then put a screw because there's that brace behind there. So I can put a couple screws in this brace and hold that down flat. And then screws along the bottom to hold this piece to that piece of angle. And that will serve as my floorboard where I put my piece of plywood down on top of this. I'm not ready for that part yet. That'll probably come in the next episode, but you can see this is a little long. I'm gonna go at five foot, which is right around where that pin is, right around there. And then it's gonna cut across there. Now I just gotta make another one of those. Uh, stop signs are thicker than I thought they were. I thought it was just gonna cut through like butter, but is the sound it makes, but it didn't because it's not butter. So I'm gonna cut another half circle for that side. Uh, but in the meantime, let me show you what else I've been working on. So here is the one of the wheels and tires. This tire doesn't have any cracks in it. So I'm gonna make this one my spare. I'm gonna buy two new tires anyway, but I wanted to try this to see what it would look like. I tried to make a thing Let's reveal this. I don't think it's going to turn out as good as I thought. Not bad, not bad. There's a little bit of overspray right there, but I think I can fix that, touch it up. So that's a, I would probably do a gloss black, but then I did the tape job here. Let's go this way. And the whole reason why I did this, just because I want the wheels to not look like every other trailer wheel. I'll do a better job taping up. Let's go see what this looks like on the trailer. Now I did not paint these. I just cleaned them up. Um, mainly because I figured if I painted them, the paint would uh, get messed up when I tried to tighten lug nuts. So I thought just cleaning them up. Now if it sits outside, they might rust. So maybe I should paint them, but I want to see what this looks like. It's actually not a bad look. It looked kind of cool going down the road. Black with silver, that being silver, the lip being silver, the inside painted black. It makes it look just a little bit different. At least it doesn't look like a white wagon wheel. I like it. All right, real quick, let me show you what I did. Uh, just to kind of give an idea of what this is going to look like when it's done. Um, basically, I just kind of laid it out, put self-tappers in for now. I'm going to bolt everything down later. So like I said, just self-tappers for now. But I got the angle iron right there. Like I said, I would have liked to do two by two, but I found this at Tractor Supply. It was a lot cheaper and they had it in six foot long sections, which is what I needed. So I got it bolted down there and there. I uh, have not, like I said, that's not final. And I have not, I have not screwed in the stuff there. Same thing on that side, self tapper, self tapper, not attached yet, but I will clean all that up and attach that better at some point. In the front, <laughs> This is part of an old street sign. Probably that same sign as that stop sign. 
but I have not attached this yet, but my plan is eventually I like to have it welded, which would be the right way to go. I mean, I'm going to cut this off right here. I'll trace that out, cut it out, but I just kind of wanted to show what it's going to look like. My thought is I can put, oh, I got these hooks. I got these hooks off of Amazon too. And they seem pretty heavy duty. And I figured that I can just bolt them however I want along here to have a tie down in the front. And then what I thought I might do is when I put the plywood down, I'll put a bolt, like a lag bolt maybe, a car carriage bolt, whatever they call it, through there and then on the bottom side I will bolt that hook and so that way when I tie something I can tie it around I don't know if that would work might have to go more like that maybe so it can I don't know I'll figure something out. but that's kind of my my plan is that's gives you kind of an idea of what this thing's gonna look like uh, and then once I do the floor I'll reveal the rest of the structure and how I'm planning on making this tiny trailer as efficient as I can but we'll get in that in a later episode that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of patina pit stop like I said this is part one of the trailer build the next episode I put out will not be about the trailer I have just obtained a new project vehicle uh all i'm gonna say is it's a car and it's an old car and uh it's been off the road for a long long time so i'm excited to do a will it run uh will it drive been off the road we'll just say over 50 years so i'm super excited about it be looking forward to that that'll be the next episode of patina pit stop until thanks we'll see you then Thank you.